This silencer is an ASA Ultra. Nice solid construction, steel. It's got a hollow end cap. So that's uh, an extra bit of space inside the silencer. And there's 18 of these little washers. A bit fiddly to reassemble when you strip them clean. But there's an aligning rod there to help you do the job. It's a bit fiddly. But I've got a ball brush that helps me clean them. As well as my normal brass brush, a hand brush. And before I reassemble, I always give the baffles a quick spray with the anti-spatter welding spray. Just makes it a bit easier to scrape all the muck off next time you strip it. And just a touch of copper grease on the end cap thread. That helps it a bit easier to unscrew as well. The hole on these baffles is not circular but oval. And there's four tabs, two on the side, one angled at the top and a straight one at the bottom. The idea with these baffles, instead of being flat in the tube like that, they're at an angle. So you've got a series of 18 baffles like this, all lay against each other, all on the tilt. You can just see here, there's a series of holes that goes around the tube. This is in the expansion chamber part. So as the bullet travels from the end of the barrel into the silencer, it enters the expansion chamber which is from these holes here up to these spot weld marks. And the idea is the expanding gases travel outwards through the holes and into a secondary chamber. It is a bit fiddly to reassemble. The inner tube goes inside, it's a tight fit, so it does need to be kept spotlessly clean inside. The baffles you just slide in at an angle, one after the other. The use of the aligning rod does help. When it's all assembled, and you put the tube in first by the way, and fully insert it, you then screw up the end cap. You'll notice, while you're doing this, when you've got the tube and the baffles inserted into the end, the end tab does protrude slightly. So that means, when you screw in the end cap, it doesn't fully tighten up to the end. It's not flush fitting. You do get just a little bit sticking out so don't worry about that if the cap doesn't fully screw down there should be some sort of a gap there I'm going to compare the Utra along with the ATEC and the Seiko first of all I should do one shot with some CB longs through the Utra and then through the ATEC and then the Seiko then I shall do two shots through the Utra, two shots through the ATEC, and a further two shots through the Seiko. The first three shots you will see is from about two yards away the camcorder will be positioned. And the first three shots with the Utra, the ATEC and the Seiko will be with the CB Long. Then I'll move the camcorder to about 60 yards away. And again with the Utra, ATEC and the Seiko, I should be firing two shots with the Ely Subsonics.
I had a good morning with you, Tre. I'm very, very pleased with this. Compared to the Seiko and the ATEC, I think for me this personally is a winner. I really like this silencer. It's a bit of a pity that it costs so much though compared to some of the budget ones, but well, you've just got to pay the money sometimes.